Hey there game makers and welcome back to another must known basics video tutorial and today we're going to do persistence and uh, well it's just basically carry over values. So let's just imagine we're having our player being uh, placed here in one room and then the second one which we can jump to also here and then for example once we start we just have two things going on first of all we're draw drawing our health above the player and then for example once we bump into a zombie well it's getting reduced and then once we go over here we can jump but as you can see the hearts or the health is not getting carried over because each time we are loading a new level everything is getting destroyed and everything is getting rebuilt from scratch this is for example how game and a lot of engines work just everything's getting front loaded so how can we have carry over values please don't confuse it with saving and loading this is when you boot up the game and well if you close it so just not to get uh, data lost so for example lives and save space and god knows what and all that stuff but here this is just during runtime not to lose a few things like i don't know let's say like health so for example in the player we just have a variable health and then just we just you know draw it above the player so this is the code easy peasy what we can do is flag on persistent and then for example what this little thing means of course you can just uh, also do it with pers persistent and flag it as true this, of course you can do it like this also and this just means like hey don't delete it after you know getting rid of the room because one we have to load and unload stuff so for example if we flag that on our player uh, one thing is happening which is for example here as you can see two health and then we are actually duplicating this is of course the bad part so here for example this is the original player which we had at the very first room and this is the second one and then once we do this we are duplicating a lot of players <laughs> so not the best idea how to do so is it possible yes so uh, a lot of games for example have at the very first room our the player being here and then we have spawn points and each time you are changing the room um the player is just getting teleported to the newest spot possible yes but a little bit cumbersome let's make it a little bit easier so how can we do this well we use an outside object and i used it in a lot of my tutorials but here let's make this as easy as possible so once again um, carry over values so let's say we have a controller here we have our current health s3 and then for example in our player once it's being spawned each time we are loading a new room we do something like this so get rid of you and then in our object controller we are just taking the value which is the current health in here and then of course that thing needs to be persistent and then for example now you just face planted once um, bam in the very so this is my first room and then once it will toggle between uh, action room one and two and then once this thing is all the time there um each time we are changing a room boom our player is getting uh well having a new one and then for example once we are bumping into the well our zombie guy here then we are reducing off the player's health but also the current one because once we are changing a room then of course we need to grab this value so this one and this one should be all the time the same so let's start it off and this is the whole magic so let's say once again our object controller is somewhere you know in the shadows and then for example we are just getting rid of that guy and then as you can see two health and then boom the new value is just all the time getting read in instantly which is nice and this is the whole concept of persistence you can just go completely nuts with that because a lot of times you have um, one controller and then it has bazillions of values which are getting updated or you're just grabbing them from outside because sometimes you just need stuff which is during you know important during you know this level or maybe just during this level and sometimes you just need to have things which are all the time there and therefore you have persistence persistence is kind of super important for that one last thing please don't confuse it with saving and loading this is especially if you for example start your game and you well you boot it up and then you close it 
Therefore, you don't want um, you know values to to get lost. Therefore, you ju just use the easiest one, which is uh, saving with inis. So this is a small text file, something like this will be saved. Or if you want to go a little bit more advanced with uh, JSON files or Excel spreadsheets and God knows what, because this is then later on important for localization. So hopefully this clears it up. So once again, persistence is carry over values inside during runtime. Saving and loading, this is then more for uh, getting values loaded in from the outside, because maybe you have Excel spreadsheets which you just update there and not in the game. Or for example, you want to have um, well save da data of your last game and you just want to continue from that point on. So here are two different concepts. So uh, links in the description below uh, how to do the save and loading part. Alrighty, hopefully that was of interest to you and see you in the next one. Have a good one. Wanna bendy.